Hi, today's painting is really about what you can achieve in five minutes. A lot of people always say they haven't got much time, don't know what to do, once they've got the watercolours out, what can they do? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you in five minutes how you can create quite a convincing image with some figures in it. Figures can be quite a problem for some people uh, because they're, they're just difficult to do. But I'm going to show you quite an easy way um, to create some figures. Uh, and Maybe you can use this technique in your next painting. And don't forget, before we start, please hit the like button. And if you're feeling a little bit daring, subscribe to my videos for more tips uh, on watercolour and general art things. So I've mixed myself uh, some grey using some burnt umber and a little bit of cobalt blue. And this is the, this is the trick of this five minute painting. Basically, I'm just flicking splats of paint onto the paper. That was a big one. Um, not really caring, just trying to keep them sort of centre of the page. Um, and as you can see, they're quite wet. They've, they've kind of gone everywhere. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of, uh, of road now, sort of a horizon line, if, if you like, just across the page underneath where I want the figures to stand. And you see I've left some room uh, for their legs um, in, in, in this piece of the painting. There's lots of room for legs there, some quite tall people by the looks of things. Um, and what I'm going to do now is mix up some, some different paints, some cobalt blue, uh, which was in the original mix, so it, it should help to um, tie the thing together. And now I'm just going to pick out some, some legs, put legs onto some of these, these people. And it's just two straight lines, really. Um, you'll notice I put a, a small head, a small full stop, really, on the top of that character, just uh, leaving a white gap between the, the two bits. Um, and that really does help to give the illusion of, of a person. And what people tend to do with, with, with figures in watercolour is, is create the heads way too big. Um, and it's just a full stop is all you need um, to, to create a convincing character. I'm just pulling down some uh, reflection now because I think I'm going to make this into a, a rainy scene. I wasn't really sure when, I, when the dots landed as to, to what this was going to be, but I can see some umbrellas um, and some people standing and walking in the rain. So that, that's what I'm going to create for you now. Um, as you can see, I'm carrying on with some legs, putting some more legs, um, using some more of the... Uh, the, the initial mix and just adding some splits and splots onto the paper to aid the reflection of what I think is going to be some umbrellas. Just, just assessing and looking and, and fiddling about, trying to work out my next move. Um, I'm going to put a bag, I think. This person's going to have a bag. Uh, so I'm just going to put that in as another extra splot of paint there. Just not, just a, a sort of a rectangle, really. Um, So as you can see, all very simple. Uh, there's there's been no no attempt to create anything specific. It's just uh, some blots on paper. This is what I mean. In five minutes, you can achieve quite a lot. Um, it's just knowing how to do it. Uh, I've picked up my pen now because I I do like pen and wash. So uh, let's start putting in these umbrellas. This is just a fountain pen um, with with normal ink. So uh, it's quite the likelihood this is going to. Um, to, to go funny and splay. Um, I've made that person with an umbrella. The first person looked like they're sort of jumping as sometimes with the wind that happens. Um, filling in the next umbrella there and, and, and putting a, a strap, maybe that's another handbag. And you can see the ink is, is sort of splaying out on the thing, just adding to the whole general chaos. But you're still getting the idea of an image. And I think that's, that's the beauty of watercolour. It's getting the idea of image. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm very dangerous now, sort of <laughs> drawing into the really wet paint. This is a really, really silly thing to do, but there you go. Um, all very spontaneous, putting another dot in there to heighten the head on that person. Um, just sort of willy-nilly line. It's fiddling, really, I have to be honest. I'm just generally fiddling here to uh, try and <laughs> try to make some sense. As you find yourself doing this when you do watercolour a lot, lots of little bits of fiddle. Um, so yeah, do, do, be, do be careful of that. Um, and so looking at this image now, I think just to finish it off and tidy it up a little bit, uh, I'm going to put in a, a, the wet sky. And all I'm doing is using my uh, mop brush just to pull down some cobalt blue 
uh, towards these figures. Um, I've <laughs> wet my brush into what was clear water, but it, it's got some of the the brown paint in it, so it's it's mingling and merging, making quite a horrible cloud looking uh, colour. Uh, and and just basically adding in some reflection now from that sky because the road would be kind of wet. I love that when you get a road that looks kind of wet from the rain. So there you go. In five minutes, I managed to produce quite a convincing little image there. Um, some figures in the rain. Not not a lot to it when you think about it. Just a couple of splats. Uh, and then I use some pen work just to add in some detail. Pen work you could replace with some brushwork um, or some pencil and then fill in the shapes with watercolour afterwards. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. For more tips, please hit the like button. Uh, and if you feel really daring, maybe subscribe.